Uh, it's hard to believe that I keep reading these headlines about Rishi Sunak hailing his Rwanda scheme. Um, why is he hailing his Rwanda scheme? Um, because nothing's really happened. Well, I think what he's trying to do is say that this is part of the European mainstream, really, and yeah. that other countries across the continent are going to be following what we're doing. Um, I think that, you know, without sounding too uh, nice to Rishi Sunak, I think that it might be fair to say that this kind of plan could be ahead of its time in the sense that if you remember when uh, the Heath government came in, they tried to change trade union laws. Yeah. Um, that took about 10 years before it really got going under Margaret Thatcher. And of course, there was an initial attempt, the courts defeated that. Maybe perhaps in this case, you know, when you've got sort of, you know, perhaps what they would say outdated uh, European migration laws drawn up after the Second World War in response to the Nazis, perhaps the kind of system we've got is a bit outdated. And maybe in 10 years time, we're going to a very different system of kind of bureaucratic you know, measures to deal with migration. So he's saying, look, Austria, we're talking to, they're doing the exact same thing as us, and 10 years' time, this is going to be the European norms. So the Rwanda scheme, far from being this kind of nasty, evil, Tory, perfidious Albion thing, is actually very reasonable. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's unreasonable. I just don't think it's, it's workable, because at the moment they haven't seemed to find, they haven't managed to find a way around um, the lawyers, who seem to be already um, making it difficult for them before it's even got off the ground. But we must be, I think I say this to you every time I talk to you, we must be now down to sort of six weeks away uh, from the initial 11 weeks when Rishi Sunak announced that it would be happening 11 weeks um, but he's meeting with the Chancellor uh, Karl Niehammer in Vienna today um, is that a bit of a diplomatic sort of um, snub because shouldn't the Prime Minister be meeting the Chancellor um, uh, or is he, is he I suppose he's the leader of Austria isn't he the Chancellor yeah, I think that this is just be, you know, his normal kind of politics. And, uh, you know, I've been hearing for months from, you know, people, you know, supporters of both Suella Braverman when she was Home Secretary and, uh, you know, Rishi Sunak and James Cleverley as well, that, you know, whatever you think of their differences on migration, they were always very keen to say that they've been having these meetings with the Home Office mm. uh, for months. Uh, so I think, and uh, sort of their sort of European counterparts across Europe. So I think that, uh, you know, these kind of things, it's just diplomatic norms. And uh, they're just keen to say, look, Austria is following on what we're doing. Nice, sensible, you know, cuddly Austria compared to... Uh, you know, well, you say nice, like, sensible country in Austria, but you know, <laughs> Maybe history, not history might have a little argument with you about that. Um, but they apparently have been amongst the countries who have worked out that actually they do have to do something you know, outside the box, I think is the phrase they've used, because yeah. whatever they have been doing and whatever Western Europe has been doing isn't stopping this wave of migration. Yeah, absolutely. And what we're seeing now is partly due to new technology, uh, you know, with sort of cheaper flights, uh, much more easy to get across Europe, you know, things like smartphones enabling kind of people to come to areas where there's sort of magnetic attraction to migrants. Um, but also because, you know, the push factors are such, you know, you've got huge pressures across the Middle East, sending waves and waves, you know, thousands of people uh, across the whole world, really. And so I think that Austria is just one of those countries, a bit like the UK, which is embracing measures that once upon a time its political elite thought was completely unpalatable. Yes, indeed.